If you love Leica cameras like me, you're probably going to enjoy this lens. Would you like a lens that you can use on a like a 3 Barnet camera, a Leica M camera, an SL series camera, and a Leica CL series camera? Then this lens could be for you. If you saw my last video, I was complaining that some of the lens companies had forgotten how to make compact lenses, but luckily not all manufacturers. A few months back I did a pre-rave review of the release of the brand new Voigtlander Helia 40mm f2.8. This might be the most anticipated lens for Leica in 2022. Now I actually have a copy of the lens, but not one, I have two. So if you like small lenses and you like Leica, stay tuned. I'll give you an idea of whether this lens is any good or not, and I'll show you some example photos. Hi guys, Matt here from MrLeica.com. So yes, today I'm going to tell you why you may want to buy the Voigtlander Helia 40mm f2.8. It is a very good lens. Price-wise, it's pretty affordable compared to Leica prices. It's pretty much all pluses. <laughs> okay, so let's jump straight in. Depending on your colour scheme, I know this is important for some Leica photographers. Are you using a black camera or are you using a silver camera? This may determine whether you buy the silver lens or the black lens. It is available in both colours and is available in both Leica screw mount and Leica M mount. Personally, I can't see any reason to buy the Leica M mount version because you may as well just buy the LTM screw mount version and then use an adapter so that if you later want to use it on a Barnack camera or say a Voigtlander Besser R or any other screw mount camera, you've got the ability to, to, to do so. My personal preference, I think, is silver on silver, or maybe black on black, or maybe silver lens on black. I wasn't really fond of black lens on silver camera, but let me know in the comments, what color scheme do you go for? The lens is supplied with a lens hood, but because of the modern coatings and flare resistance, I took the hood off and pretty much didn't use it. From the from day one that makes the lens even smaller and so you really do then have a super duper compact setup if you're new to the casino voigtlander brand this is a range finder coupled lens uh, brass built with aluminium hood and aluminium push-on cap beautifully made and very much like alike uh, you've got a clicky aperture with like half stop clicks close focus distance 0.7 meters it comes with tan aperture blades which will give you nice round bokeh and the only quirk really is it comes with a 34 mil filter thread you may want to get an adapter and get a step ring 34 mil to say 39 mil step ring and then use your existing 39 mil color filters if you're under like a user that uses the usual 39 mil filter size what's really special about this lens for me personally is the fact that Voigtlander decided to make a brand new screw mount lens no other company as far as I know are making brand new screw mount lenses so all of you guys with the old screw mount cameras we can now use an spherical brand new multi-coated lens which will give you really decent images from a very old camera you can put it on your fed camera any other cheap civic camera which you might find on ebay for 50 pounds and because it is so small it gives you both the vintage look if you buy it in silver it's even got the infinity lock uh, that you get on the old lenses i'm really impressed with voigtlander all they need to do now is make us a brand new affordable 35mm film camera to compete with the ever-increasing prices on the user market and yeah I think well done Voigtlander. If you can also make us a 50mm f2 I'll just put my little wish in now and then yeah that'd be fantastic. The downside for me with this lens talking about 50mm is because Leica cameras don't come with a 40mm frame line you're going to have to either guesstimate or use a 40mm viewfinder. Personally I'm a bit particular with my framing so i was using a 40 mil finder but i'm sure for many of you you'd be more than happy to just use the the 50 mil fixed frame lines on say your vintage camera and then just guesstimate the composition the 40 mil finder does add size to like a small barnet camera which for me was a negative so that was the biggest downside about this lens is i couldn't frame accurately in camera the best combination i found it to pair with is the Leica m3 because the Leica m3 for those of you who don't know if you ignore the frame lines, the viewfinder area equates to roughly 40mm. Obviously, you could use it on some of the other cameras which have got 40mm frame lines, like a CL film camera, a Voigtlander Besser R3M, R3A. They've both got 40mm frame lines. But yeah, brilliant. Well done, Voigtlander. Amazing to release a screw mount lens. Hopefully, more to come. A massive thanks to Flaghead Photographic for sending me both copies of the lens. So, how does the lens perform? If you're going to use this lens on a vintage camera, I guess the best thing to think of it as how does it compare to similar vintage lenses, say a 50mm 3.5 Elmar or any other small screw mount lens. Because it's a modern lens, it's multi-coated, so you're going to have really good flare resistance. 
you can have higher contrast, you can have higher saturation. Being a modern lens, you've also got sun stars from around f4 onwards. Uh, vignetting, there's a little bit of vignetting at f2.8, but an f4, and then as you stop it down, it's pretty minimum. And in terms of sharpness, it seems pretty sharp across the field at infinity, apart from the corners. And it took down to around f8, f11 to get the extreme corners really sharp. But for the most part, if you're not looking in the extreme corners, the sharpness is really good from 2.8 onwards for kind of decent, not, not crazy sharp, but kind of usable sharp. And then using the lens up close at 0.7 meters, as you can see here for these mirror selfies, again, usably sharp f2.8, even though it doesn't look crazy sharp in my sample testing. When you then use the lens for real world photos, it looks really sharp. So that's the main thing. The real world is where it's important. I've used this lens on various model shoots, but the one that's kind of most memorable when I did the two day workshop with a guy from Mexico, these were shot wide open f2.8. All images were edited with my Lumix G preset pack. If you want any of my presets, click the first link in the description below. And if you're trying to improve your portrait photography, check out my Patreon and I'll hopefully help you through to improve your either model photography or portrait photography. And basically how to make a complete stranger really happy within 10, 20 photos just by talking to them and then showing them some nice images on the back of the camera. You can make someone's day just by taking a few nice pictures and for me that's really rewarding so it's nice to meet a stranger and leave a friend <laughs> and so with all that amazingness how much does this lens cost you can pick up this lens of 450 pounds or around 550 dollars the size is so small if you've got the money it's almost a lens you can keep in your camera bag and not in the main camera bag even like in the side pocket of your camera bag maybe where you keep your spare batteries if you want a really really small setup pairing this with maybe a small 28 mil such as the Canon 28 2.8 if you want a screw mount lens or maybe the, even the, the affordable TT Artisan 28 5.6 really like that lens uh, M mount I kind of wish it was also in screw mount and so the big question is can I recommend this lens I feel like one of these reality TV shows where everyone's already clapped the person for singing their song and then they have to do the voting at the end it's pretty obvious that yes this lens is amazing is it optically fantastic in any particular area I'd say no, but it is kind of a really good all-rounder and the size and the price is what carries it through as being a really good kind of lens to own. My biggest negative for me personally is it's 40mm, not 50mm. If it was a 50mm, say f2, this lens would be absolutely amazing. Uh, so please make one Voigtlander. <laughs> if you want them to make a 50mm f2, please like this video and if you get enough likes, I'll... Uh, write to Voigtlander and say, please make us a 50 f2. So yeah, really happy with the lens, quirky focal length and quirky filter size. But other than that, no problems. You don't need to use the hood unless you're worried about like dinking the front of the lens. And yeah, really happy. If you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button. If you've already bought this lens, let us know in the comments. Are you enjoying it? And as always, a massive thanks to my patrons. If you love 40 mil, I think the best 40 mil in terms of optics is the 40 mil 1.2. Watch this video next.